Hello boys and girls, today we are going to continue with step number two. Step number two of the butterfly life cycle. So yesterday we learned about step number one. Step number one, we said, is the egg. And we learned about the egg and that the um, mommy butterfly lays her eggs on milkweed leaves, right? And why? Good, because Baby caterpillars love to eat milkweed. That is what they eat when they're baby caterpillars, okay? And that helps them grow into a beautiful butterfly. So it is very important that we remember step number one because today we're gonna talk about step number two. So as always, we love to do our check mark, our check boxes to make sure that we have everything down. So the first one is a capital letter. Make sure you have a capital letter, and I'm going to put a capital A for an example. Okay, capital letter. Good, uppercase letter. Good. Then, we also want to make sure we're using punctuation. What's punctuation? Good. A period, exclamation, or question mark. Good. Next, we want to make sure that we are always using what? Good. Finger space. So I'm going to draw that finger so you make sure you put that finger. Good. What else? Yes, a drawing. So I'm going to do um, a happy face for a drawing. Okay. And last but not least, what did I say I wanted you guys to work on this week? Before you ask mommy for dad and daddy for help. Good. Sound it out. So yesterday we pretended we were sounding out cat. K -a -t. Sound it out. Okay, sound it out. Before you ask for help, sound it out. Even if you spell it wrong, as long as I could, I could see that you sounded it out, I would be so proud of you. Okay, so before you ask mommy and daddy, sound it out. Everyone after me, sound it out, cut, Ready? Sound it out, cut, Good. So these are your check marks um, that I want you to do after you do step number two. Okay, here we go. Step number one, we know that it was the laying of the egg. Step number two, we come out with a beautiful caterpillar. Okay, so in our book, um, we went to page 30 and we learned about the egg, okay? From egg to butterfly, step number one, okay? How long is it an, um, how long is it an egg for? Good, four days. Then we learn that it becomes a beautiful caterpillar. Okay, a little tiny baby caterpillar and then it grows a lot bigger. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful colors, yes. And it says the following, a tiny caterpillar hatches from the egg. It eats milkweed all day long. In two weeks, it grows from less than a quarter inch to two inches long. Wow, so it grows a lot in just two weeks. It goes from this little bitty one to this huge caterpillar, okay? And it's a total of two inches long, so probably about this long, okay? Probably life size right there. Two inches right there. So um, I want you guys to remember it eats milkweed all day long. And why did we say that they like to eat milkweed? Good. It, it makes other insects not want to eat them because they don't like the taste of milkweed. Only caterpillars like it, right? It's not, it's kind of like almost like a poison. Like, ugh, they don't like it. So the caterpillar eats milkweed so that other insects don't eat them, okay? But they love milkweed. It's kind of like how babies love milk, right? Okay? So it hatches from the egg and in two weeks it grows this big. So I learned that a caterpillar, a caterpillar hatches from the egg, okay? So for step number two, what are some things that we can write? Good. Good. Caterpillar hatches. Good. What else? Good. It grows in just two weeks. Good. It grows in just two weeks. What else? Awesome. It eats milkweed. Good. So the caterpillar, Misty's going to write the capital letter, the finger space, Oh, how do I spell caterpillar? Caterpillar. Misty is gonna, oh, I, I know, I forgot to send you guys a book, so I will send it to you right now, okay? Caterpillar, the caterpillar. Oh, doesn't fit, where do I go next? Good, 
The caterpillar, good, eats, finger space, what? Milk, weed, all day. Okay, and what goes at the end of my sentence? Good, a period ends my sentence, good. The caterpillar eats milkweed all day. So I know that that's what I learned in my book. I know that the caterpillar eats the milkweed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. I'm gonna draw a, a big caterpillar, okay? First I'm gonna draw him in yellow. Why am I doing the yellow first? Yeah, because I know that his body is yellow, black, and white, right? And then next, I'm gonna outline it with tiny little feet and lines good okay now does he have little black antennas yeah he does he even has some on the back too see yeah front and back so i'm gonna draw that one two and then one and two okay now I'm gonna draw him doing what? Because what did I write? I said that he likes to eat milkweed, right? So I'm gonna make sure that he is sitting on a milkweed. So here's my milkweed, okay? And then here's the stem, okay? All right, so there goes my caterpillar and he is about two inches long, two inches long, okay? And he eats milkweed all day. Now, let's make sure Miss D got everything correct. Did she use a capital letter in the beginning? Check mark, I did, okay? Did I use punctuation? Let's go look, and then my sentence right there. All right, I did it. Check mark. Did I use finger space? Finger, 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 and finger. Yes, check mark. Did I draw my picture? Yes, check mark. Did I sound out my words? Act. Good. Or what did Misty do also? She looked in the book to help her spell caterpillar. Oh, right here. Caterpillar. Good. And if I need help, what can I do? For example, milk. Mmm. Mmm. Milk. What letter do I think milk starts with? Well, let's listen to the sound. Mmm. Ilk. Okay. Mmm. Good, I know it starts with the letter M. Very good. What else do I hear? Mm, I, U, K, I. That's an I, good. What else? U, K, U, good, L. And then at the very end, I heard a K, good. So if I sound out my words, I am able to write the word milk. Okay, now if you guys need help, we will definitely be able to look at the book. I'm gonna send it to you right now, okay? All right, boys and girls, go ahead and start with step number two. And this is for um, All About Butterflies, so make sure that you also update your table of contents. Step number two, what was step number two? The caterpillar. So for step number two, Miss D's gonna write caterpillar. Pillar, page number two. All right. I will see you guys on Hangout.